everybody it's Jeff how you guys doing today uh, this is actually part number 10 of our US Army G7107 cargo truck uh, I've had a few issues this week I haven't been able to post quite as much as I wanted to um, computer issues still acting up and um, last three days my neighbor has decided that they needed to build a new fence so there's been all kinds of construction noises and things going on just right outside my window and it you wouldn't have been able to hear what I was saying with all the all the banging and machines running and whatnot so anyway uh, I did work on the model I have not recorded an awful lot of it unfortunately for those those of you that are following along I hope this is enough that uh, you know when you get to build yours if you're working on one of these that you'll be able to figure out what I'm doing <clears throat> um, we did step 23 where we added the uh, clamps to the frame and we of course painted everything in step 24 they want you to start working on the cab um, my thinking, especially since there's going to be, you know, interior painting, decals and that type of thing, it's better off to paint these parts. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about here. This is, this is the head, headliner, and this is the outside of the cab. This is the firewall, and these are what we call the kick panels. I'm not sure what they're called everywhere else, but... I would just as soon paint all that stuff and have it, you know, have a good finish on it before I start putting it together. So 24, 25 are all part of the cab. 26 is the radiator and the shroud. I've got those parts cut out, but I have not, uh, have not put them together or anything. 27, I haven't got anything done with the muffler yet. Then in 29, well, I don't even know where, okay, 28, they want you to add some pieces to the to the uh, firewall, which I have here, and I have them all painted up and ready to go. Uh, they're just a few little pieces, not a big thing. And then on 29, they want you to build up the driver's door, put the glass in and everything. There again, I want to do some painting. So I've got the... Uh, parts for the cab here all painted up but not assembled Oops, don't want to drop anything so here's the this is the driver's door here so I've got the uh, door handle on it and I've got the uh, paint on it I primed it and painted it on the parts I didn't want painted I used some uh, liquid mask just to make sure it'll be real easy just to peel that liquid mask off and then I can put the glass in it and everything but before I do that um, there's decals that go on here too so I'll probably go ahead and varnish this and uh, it's nice when I'm doing you know a, a vehicle that has like the same decals on both sides I'll set both doors side by side when I do the decals and that way I can make sure that they're all lined up evenly it it looks a lot nicer I think anyway uh, here's the cab all painted um, this is the outside of the cab this is the inside of the cab so that I didn't want paint on the other side so I masked that with the liquid mask I painted I put the um, little rear view mirror on there if you can see it and I got that all painted I still need to put a couple of decals on this and then I need to paint the uh, silver on the mirror this is the liquid mask I used I've had this for a while and I've never used it and I thought why not I'll give it a try so it it works pretty well it there's a little trick a technique you have to use um, if you you know don't put it on really quick um, then you start pulling it back off again as it dries. 
So you kind of get in there and just kind of flood the area you want with it and then just leave it alone until it, it's a kind of a light blue color and then as it dries it turns kind of a dark green. But um, here's the firewall. I've got that all painted. There was one little piece, uh, A45, that I put on, but then I've got several uh, parts I painted black. Well, the, this is a little oil can that goes on the frame, and I painted it, I primed it, but I need to paint that silver. Then they want you to put the dash in, but there's several decals on the dash also. So here's the dash. It's all painted, but I need to get the uh, some varnish on it. It's very detailed, if you can see it. And uh, get it, you know, uh, get the decals on it before I put it in. I don't want to put it in and then try and work through the driver's hole, the you know, driver's door hole or something to get the decals on. So that's good to go. Just need to get the varnish on it. That's the inside of the back of the cab. All painted up. This is the outside of the cab. So those two pieces will be sandwiched together. But I've got it all painted. This was something that was really tricky. Um, these two parts go together and there's a seam across there. And I spent lots and lots of time. And there's some masking fluid kind of on the way there now. But when you put that all together you want that seam to disappear against that belt line. And it will. Um, I spent an awful lot of time getting it all just right, you know, so when it's all glued together, that seam should disappear. <clears throat> On the floor, I went ahead and put the uh, gear shift levers and uh, brake lever and everything on, and I'll do some, some uh, brush painting, and I'll, you know, paint the knobs and everything black. Most of the interior, this is going to be the, the drab, too. There's the floorboard, and that's the gas pedal, brake and clutch, and the starter. So those are all, you know, I, those all need to be painted, too. I'll paint the pedals black. <clears throat> that's pretty well got the, the interior done. I need to paint the hood, and I need to get the the uh, grill, the, the photo etch grill put together, which I'll try and do it all on camera if my computer will let me. And uh, here's the bottom and the uh, back of the seat. So those are all painted up. So that stuff's in progress. I'll try and show you guys more if this computer will bear with me. But anytime I do a, a clip over about 10 minutes, um, it won't let me upload it. So I've been really fighting that. And uh, the model also has some barrels for the for the back. So these are all primed and ready to go. These are real simple to put together. Uh, two halves, top and bottom, and a little uh, detail here at the hole that the fill hole. So those those I'll paint. I'll probably paint these in uh, two or three different colors just for some variety. And the kit does come with uh, some decals for. They say gasoline and different kinds of things on them. So that's not a big deal. Um, one more thing here. We have an engine. Uh, it's not attached yet, but I did get it all put together. I filmed all of it and I went 20 minutes or so and it wouldn't let me load it. So it's real easy to follow the directions uh, just to put it together. I still need to, I got a little piece of photo itch that I had to put on and bend, so I've got to touch that up yet. But um, the transmission and the intake manifold are steel. The uh, fuel pump and the uh, water pump are aluminum. Uh, the rest is pretty much all just gloss black the carburetors aluminum also I think it looks pretty pretty good I considered putting spark plug wires on it but uh, boy that's really tiny 
you'd never see them anyway. So anyway, uh, sorry I didn't wasn't able to get that out to you guys, but I think it looks pretty good, and uh, I've got to get it mounted in the frame and the uh, drive shaft to the transmission uh, in there. So I'm I'm running up to ten minutes now, so I probably better cut this off. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you watching. And I'll try and do more just as soon as I can. But uh, until I get this computer issue solved, I'm going to have to keep things pretty short. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.